Look around and you'll find hundreds of things and they all have one thing in common. They are all matter. Tables, chairs, pencils, phones, laptops, milk, orange juice, laughing gas. All forms of matter. And the two things that are common between them is that they have some mass and they all occupy space. But the question is, doesn't everything occupy space and has mass? About it, there are things around you which don't. For example, the light that is coming from the screen right onto you or the sound that you're hearing, they do not. So has it ever happened that you had a weighing machine and you shouted on it so hard that it went down? Of course no, because things like light, sound or heat are not matter but forms of energy. They may have the capability to influence matter but they aren't matters themselves. So putting the definition of matter first, matter is anything that occupies space and has mass and you probably already know it. So my question right now is why? Why is it that only matter has these two properties but not energy? And the answer lies in the structure of matter. As we already talked about it in the last video, for a large time our understanding of matter was basic and wrong. Even when we had a logical explanation to what matter could be, we still went with the wrong theory that everything is made up of four elements, earth, water, fire and air. But science like truth always prevails. So here's the simple idea. Consider a small piece of rock. I could break this rock into two pieces and it still would be a piece of rock. I could break those two pieces into four and they still would be rock. I could go on doing it indefinitely and I would still be getting smaller and smaller pieces of rock until I reach such a small level that if I break it anymore, it would not be rock anymore, but something else, something more elemental. Small particles that when combined together would form the rock. These small particles are called molecules and if I break these molecules, I might still get something, but it wouldn't be anything like a rock or containing the properties of that rock. These smaller, more elemental particles would be the building block of what formed that rock in the first place and are called atoms. The word was derived from the Greek name atomos given by Democritus and meant indivisible. Although atoms are divisible, but Democritus still had a pretty accurate guess. Let me try to explain it again. Consider this sentence from Shakespeare's play Hamlet. To be or not to be, that is the question. Now, if I try to break the sentence, I would get small fragments of the sentence which are called words. So if matter is like a sentence, molecules are like words. But it's not the end. I could even break these words and what I'd get are letters. While these letters may not directly give me a meaning of the sentence, they still are the building block from which this sentence is made. I might try, try breaking the letters as well, but then all I'd get would be lines which do not make sense. At least language-wise they don't unless I form letters with them. I may have sentences which may have completely different meanings, but ultimately they are all made up of letters. In the same way, different matter may exist, but they are all made up of atoms. Your pencil, your phone, your food, your water, you yourself are made up of atoms. To answer our question, matter is matter because it is made up of these tiny small particles which are so small they are beyond our imagination. We cannot see them under a magnifying glass. In fact, we cannot even see them under an advanced microscope. To give you a perspective of how small they are, your body is made up of approximately 7 trillion trillion atoms. That would be 7 followed by 27 zeros. Yes, that's a lot. So if you have been following this lecture, you now know that matter is anything that occupies space and has mass and it does so because it is made up of these small indivisible particles known as molecules and even smaller ones known as atoms. Hope you enjoyed. See you around next time. Peace.